Welcome back. Uh, you are watching the Mahura Trading Special. Of course, this is a start to summer 2073. The market is flat on index, but mid cap index has done well. And now is the time to get you all the stock ideas. We have Ashwini Gujral, Sudarshan Sukhani, and Mitesh Thakkar all with us, and of course, Mr. Tulsi is still with us uh, in our studios. Uh, good evening, everyone, and happy Diwali to all of you and your families. Uh, Ashwini, let me start with you. Uh, you know, you have a multi-bagger portfolio from last summer to this summer. Uh, you know, stocks like uh, Uflex, uh, Thirumalai, Asian Granito, VIP, some of these stocks have done well. Uh, our viewers would want to know how would the next year look like in terms of your portfolio and your broader market call. Well, uh, good evening and uh, happy Diwali to everybody. See, last year the game was very easy because you had a 20% decline in the market and all of these mid caps got beaten up. So it was very easy to you know get um, uh, mid caps which became multi baggers. So you didn't have to try very hard if you had a good balance sheet, decent business model. Uh, you know things really flew off the handle. Plus you have a good monsoon. So stocks like escorts etc. did extremely well. This year you know it's not very easy. You are sitting at new highs. And the problem is that, you know, for last three months, the market is narrowing. It's narrowing all over the world, and uh, which means that probably large money is sitting on its hands, and it will move sooner or later, probably in November, uh, post the uh, U.S. election. So that sort of dislocation is likely to happen. Maybe you'll get to 8,000, 8,200. So those will be levels where you will get much better bargains rather than today or tomorrow. So that is something people should keep in mind that a narrowing market will finally expand. In terms of stocks, you know, medium term stocks, I could find three of them. Uh, something like Ashok Leyland, it's gone through a bad time. It's, it now looks like it's had a good month and it's probably bottoming out. So that's a buy with a stop, say around 80 bucks and a medium term target of about 120. Similarly, Britannia, which had a fairly strong run last two or three months has been sideways. Now FMCG uh, seems to be bottoming out. So that's a buy with a stop of 3200, look for 3750. And a beaten up forgotten stock is Bata. You know, maybe things are not good with the company, but it's down from 750 to around 450, 500. So this is the time to get into it. Whenever good results come in, you could easily make a lot of money. So uh, uh, Bata is a buy with a stop of 450 and look for targets of 620. Okay, so a lot of stock ideas there coming in from our tech guru Ashwini Gujral, but we also have two more. Uh, Sudarshan, hi, happy Diwali to you and your family. Um, it's been a decent year for us, right? 10% higher for the index, but the Sensex is struggling around 28,000. Do you see a, a repeat performance from this year to next, or could we do better? Yeah, good, good evening, and a very happy Diwali to all of you, to TV18, to the viewers. And this is not just by a say-so, it's not just a saying. I think we are in the middle, or rather just in the beginning stages of a massive bull market. I have said that earlier, last year also, and that view remains. This massive bull market will take us to places which we cannot imagine. So this is really a truly investor's Diwali. There is no doubt in my mind. And if you are an investor, then you don't uh, look at short-term fluctuations. See, those fluctuations will come. Tuesday could be a different way. But you invest and stay uh, invested in good quality stocks. And if at all you want to take profits, reinvest in some other stocks. And there are hundreds of opportunities. So I have some, but I would think that you could simply close your eyes, buy a good quality stock and make a lot of money. Okay. So Darshan, hi, good evening. Happy Diwali to you and your family. So you have four stocks uh, with the very high, uh, you know, return potential. Well, I hope so. That's the, that's the idea. And this return potential could be much higher if you hold on to these stocks. I must again explain, Anuj, that you could, they, I think there are hundreds of these I ideas, mm -hmm. not just four. I'm just sharing the ones I like. The first is NMDC. NMDC now represents metals. Metals are just entering a bull market. It's not done. It's just the beginning. So NMDC represents that entire sector. I also have some investments in it, and I think it's a good idea to buy and hold for a longer term of time. The second is IDFC. Now, if you add up IDFC and IDFC Bank, the prices have been in a trading range for years altogether. I think this is one of the last banks to break out of that trading range and do, and as a holding company, probably do very well. So, IDFC is my second buying idea. It's in the financials business, which is likely to outperform. 
The third is Bharti Airtel. Bharti Airtel uh, has been in a trading range since 2007. This is 2017 almost. So for 10 years, it's done nothing. It's a matter of time before it rallies. And when it rallies, the eventual target should be 600 plus. Just be patient. Patience is, of course, necessary for any investing idea to be profitable. And the last of my suggestions is a more speculative stock. That is India Cement. India Cement has come out of a trading range which has lasted for many years. I think significant rallies are likely to come in this. But remember, I always prefer conservative stocks rather than speculative. So three uh, solid growth ideas and one India Cement. But be long in this market. Don't dabble in small. I mean, ensure that your money is in these stocks. This market is going much higher. Oh yes, uh, we have learned from you that patience and being conservative are two very important virtues if you want to make long-term money in the market. But Mitesh, uh, what about you? What are the stocks that you would recommend your viewers and your you know, traders to buy now? Uh, wish you all a very happy Diwali and uh, to our viewers as well. Uh, I have some short-term calls, in fact, uh, a buy on Kotak Bank. I think that's one stock, you know, which uh, is now showing very promising pattern on the short to medium term charts. It's just on the verge of breaking beyond 820, 825, which is never traded above. So, just buy it above 822 with the stop at 809. The first port of call should be 850, though I suspect eventually this is a stock which should get past 900 from a trading positional trading point of view. Uh, then the other short-term call uh, is, is, is a buy on Ajanta Pharma with a stop at 2014 for targets of around 2095. And I have one sell call in the short term that's on Aisha Motors. Uh, that's a sell with a stop at 24,360 for targets of 23,500. Okay, we're not done discussing stocks yet. Of course, Mr. Hussain is still with us. Uh, Mr. Hussain, let's discuss some of your uh, picks. You know, of course, uh, most of your picks have hit bullseye and have given multiple returns to our uh, viewers. Uh, let's start with Z Media. See, Anuj, actually this is the mistake investors do. I agree that, you know, first when we give the buy call, we set a target. But those targets can't be 2x, 3x, 4x because unnecessary that raises the expectation. Yeah. So what I do or what we do, you know, we keep revising the target. And it is right that the stock having recommended at 18, 19 and, you know, now it is 34. But if you come in Z media, first straight with the two triggers, which I will come straight away on the, on, on, the, on, the, on the stock. First is the hiving of the printing business. Now the company has day before or a couple of days back have propose that they will be demerging the uh, the print business. That means the, the DNA paper which is printed by the company yeah. is getting hyped off and if you see that is a loss making venture. If you see they have the very uh, uh, healthy bouquet of the news channels which are making profit. Just to give an example, the EBIT of 27 crore from the, from, the, from the news channels are eaten away by the losses of about 10 crore from the print business. So what management have decided that they are restructuring the company, hive of this print business in which four shares of the, those who are holding four shares will get one share of print business or, or maybe in a due course of time company will think of exiting from the print business as well because they have all been struggling in this venture for last over one decade. That is one trigger which I see very positive and second positive trigger is the company is launching a home shopping channel. Now if you see this home shopping channel when you talk to the industry experts they say that this is the proxy to the e-commerce or maybe e-commerce you know which has been making a losses and all that will not be seen and home shopping channels is really a very uh, sunrise industry kind of things which will be seen a very big uh, uh, kind of growth oriented sector which is coming in. So these are the two things. Already we have seen a positive, you know, huge positive earning coming in from the company. If you see in the first half on the turnover of about 205 crore in the in the TV business company has been made an EBIT of, EBIT of 27 rupees. So taking all this into consideration, the, uh, the strong bouquet of the news channels, I think that stock which is now ruling at 34 can can give you a return of anywhere between 50 to 100 percent by next summer. As I said, I am not setting the aggressive targets, but look for a return of 50 percent to 100 percent by next summer. Oh my my, look at that stock, 9 percent higher now. That's the magic that Mr. Dulcian has. But you know what? He has three more aces up his sleeve, three more stocks that he's going to talk about. So don't go anywhere. We'll take a very short break, and when we come back, we will also uh, tell you about those stocks, and we'll tell you what's happening in the dealing rooms.